We are joined by Associate Vice Presidents, two of them, Trevor Ames and Carolyn Porter. They are champions of interprofessional education and practice. So as we have learned in the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the previous infectious uh, diseases and epidemics have done the same and, and, and showed us that there is a connection between the human health and animal health and the environment. So my question for AVP Ames is, what is the equipoise of the future for animals and humans in health? Thank you, uh, Dr. Toller. Uh, it's great to be with you today. Um, I, think, I think this idea of diseases that, that span uh, animals, animals, humans, animals, and the environment is, uh, is a great way to, to approach these kind of problems. Um, I think um, it's often referred to as one health and uh, it, it deals not only with, as you talked about, these cross-species diseases that can be transmitted back and forth like flu or COVID, but it also talks about uh, these mutually prevalent diseases that can be um, uh, acquired but are not transmitted. And so then we think of things like cancer and environmental toxicities. So I think it provides a great way for us to address these problems and try and anticipate where these diseases will emerge in the future and how to respond to them. And now uh, to AVP Porter, I would uh, like to uh, talk about the importance of the interprofessional collaboration and team-based care. And I'd like you to, uh, to go along with the imagery as, as, as follows. In the last century, we have extended the lifespan of humans from 30 to about 75. We have been able to decrease the, uh, the level of extreme poverty from about 90% to nine. And we have decreased the fatalities of uh, inflicted by wars by 20 fold and other forces, almost like famine by 100 fold. So what does it tell us as we go uh, forward with interprofessional education and teamwork about both the advantages of that and also, if there are any in your mind, cognitive infirmities of that approach. Thank you, Jacob, for that question and for this thought exercise. When I think about interprofessional education and what we are doing here at University of Minnesota with our learners, with our students, I think about the importance of collaboration the importance of collaboration in action, as we've, as we've called it, where we give learners an opportunity to experience real world teamwork, real world problem solving, where they are engaging with colleagues that will be their colleagues when they graduate and with patients and communities, with families. We teach students psychomotor skills. We teach students to use their critical thinking and we teach and engage them in what it means to be a team and to be team-based care. When you and I and ABP Ames were students, we focused so much on the skills. We wanted to get it right. We did not want to do harm. And we took for granted that we could figure out the communication. Today's learners are supported by our faculty, our staff, and they are supported to learn not only those skills, but also to learn how to be team because team communication in healthcare is different than the communication they do on a daily basis with their friends or their family members. We are leading in this and we are preparing graduates that will have the skills, that will have the critical thinking and that will, will know how to deliver team-based care. In this way, we're going in the right direction and we will hopefully get some of those numbers that you described earlier to 100%, everyone out of poverty, everyone having access to the care they need.